I think a lot of people think we've solved uh, the racial reconciliation issues as long as the white churches and the black, black churches don't hate each other. No, it was solved when everyone was given equal rights. Mm -hmm. Or even if the white churches and the black churches occasionally come together and do things uh, with Rich. one another. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is not nope. uh, the, the way that we as Christians are built up in the body. The Respecting each other and occasionally interacting is apparently unchristian. Got it. The way that we have our consciences shaped is not just by receiving information. What does that have to do with race? Through the word of God being preached is by living life together as one body together. Can't we do that as individuals, respecting and loving each other regardless of race? And, and showcasing the kingdom of God is assigned to the principalities and powers yes, in them. Yes, but that applies worldwide, not necessarily to individual churches. And what's with this guy's expression, this blank, staring eyes? Don't you have the courtesy to stare someone in the eye when you talk to them or listening to them? Places. The easiest thing in the New Testament would have been to say, let's plant Jewish Christian churches and Gentile Christian churches, right. mm -hmm. and let's just uh, just go uh, in that direction and keep them from getting together and killing mm -hmm. each other. Yeah, generally over theological, not racial or cultural differences. But that's not what the apostles did, yeah, 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 yeah. because it's a sign to the principalities and power. Yeah, that's exactly what the apostles thought. Let's not focus on theology or setting a good example for ourselves. Let's build up these diverse churches to show the Romans that... Um, and so what we have to have are churches that start, and you can't program this out. No, you can't. But I, no, I generally try to stay away from people that use terms like programming when they're describing people. I think it has to start with congregations that say, first of all, why are we all white or mostly white? Because they're located in America or Europe? Why are we all black or mostly black? Why Africa. Why are we all Hispanic? Latin America. And... It, does this really represent the kingdom of God? It can globally. And to first see that this is a problem. So now congregations of white or black people is problematic. Mm. And then to start saying, if our community looks one way and our church uh, doesn't, why is that the case? Mm. Because only race should define a community, nothing else. Mm -hmm. Which means sometimes I think asking people in your community what... Uh, what why? What, what's going on with our church? Uh, I you know who else sent out people into the community and asked why quotas weren't being met. I had a friend who was talking to a pastor in Alabama who was serving a white church in a predominantly African-American uh, community. And the pastor said, I just don't know why we can't get black people to come to our church. Has he tried not defining them by their race? And he's seated at a desk. Behind him is a Confederate flag. <laughs> and we all know it has to happen to those, don't we? And a bust of Stonewall Jackson. <laughs> he said, well... Maybe that's a clue. Perhaps. You know, maybe. Yeah, you know, we'll think about that. Yes, comrade. Why are you in possession of counter-revolutionary materials? <laughs> I mean, but I think I think those are the sorts of just starting to say, do we have this problem, and how are we in a situation where being together, we start shaping one another's consciences? We should respect an individual's consciousness, and we start serving one. Another. I mean, the big burden I have as a white man. Here we go. Is that. Often white Christians assume, assuming you know the thoughts and intentions of others, without even thinking about it, that normal Christianity is white. Mm. No one thinks this. No one. I, I've never met anybody who thought that normal Christianity was white. Mm -hmm. And that we then minister to black people, Asian right. people, and Hispanic people, and they're the ones receiving ministry. No. They weren't ministered to because they were black or Hispanic or whatever. They were ministered to because they didn't know God. The missionaries were coming from Europe, which had been Christian for over a thousand years, and they were ministering to places that had just heard the word or had never heard it at all. No, 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 no. If this is going to change... Oh, boy. The way it's going to change... Uh-huh. ...is by white people being... White people, yeah. Being ministered to by those who are called in leadership, recognizing that most of the body of Christ in heaven and on earth isn't white, isn't American, it's never spoken English. Ladies and gentlemen, we've achieved idiocy. That's right. True. That's right. And so when we start to have that, that sort of uh, awakening in our own hearts, I think that's where we're going to start to see some change. And that right there is Russell Moore's plan to end racism in churches by letting white people have black leadership tell them that most w people in heaven are not white or speak English. Genius.
And I love when these people point out the concept of white Christianity without ever providing one single example of what that means. I mean, what's the difference between black or white Christianity, besides probably the hymns or a few decorations in the church? There's nothing different theologically, so what's the problem? There is none. This guy is spouting nonsense. Yeah, so there's my first video. Uh, please tell me what you thought in the comments, and thanks for watching.